Scouse, a little bowl of Scouse from the cafe here in the Liverpool Museum. And um, yeah, it's uh, just a small bowl, just like a snack one. Not like the one that your mum makes. I'm just here at the Museum of Liverpool and uh, it's the first time I've been here. So I'm going to have a look around, see what we've got in this uh, part of the museum. This part is about Liverpool being a global city. So this is from the Laringas family, and the Laringas family were uh, Basque traders in Liverpool that came from the Philippines and uh, they built the fastest steamship to get uh, goods to uh, Liverpool and England quicker so they can make more money. So it's the first like big steamship that was used, it was by a, a Basque, a Spanish Filipino family, Laringas. And here's the, the costumes. So there's a lot of different um, countries trading with Liverpool back in the day. And uh, from the Philippines, China, America, lots of different countries. These are the original ships that they use, coming from China maybe. And these ones are from uh, Shanghai, there's a lot of uh, Asian influence coming into Liverpool uh, when the ship and trade was working at the docks here. So they brought back all these uh, ones like this fella. All these scouts are. This floor's like a timeline of Liverpool's history. Up until like more recently, like the war. Turned. <laughs> Fellas writing out some taxes, some tax returns from Liverpool there. With his big sideburns. Some old wartimey stuff here. It's the gas mask. It's the uh, prehistoric scouser and the animals that used to walk around here. Not much has changed really. reconstruction of an old train that used to go to through Liverpool, an overhead uh, railway that used to go through Liverpool. And uh, got all the, all the construction around here. So this is how it used to look going over Liverpool. A lot better than the trains now actually. There's a poster for the overhead railway. Goes to the dock. There's a fellow he's worried because he's not paid for his ticket. Go on, make pay up. She's looking out the window, he's like, don't put your head too far out, you'll chop it off. There's 
Chuck the Ripper. <laughs> My little mate Jay would enjoy that train there. He'd say it's Thomas. Thomas is coming. One day he'll come and see us over here, little Jay. And jump on the, the train. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go up to the next floor. So that was the first floor, going up to the second. This one's based around more modern things that have happened in Liverpool and uh, like modern influences to the city. Let's see what's going on here. I'm not really in this bar. It was an outlet where you can just let your hair down and just go berserk. stuff from the Second World War. I think it's like a more modern timeline on this floor. That's in there, there's outfits from the war fire. Yeah. Wartime posters. This is from like the a statue of the uh, commemorated the women's suffragettes in Liverpool who wanted boats. There's a nice backdrop there and um, behind you've got the buildings here for around the world and then behind us we've got the live buildings there. Nice view for us to call up here and sit off and relax. We've got the city of Liverpool there, but the docks. Here's a model of the building that's just behind us there, the Liver Builder. There's the dock front, there's a ship in there at the moment. I'm not type, so sure what type of ship it is. People can write their uh, memories of growing up uh, for Zachley or other areas. Here's some of the responses. It's a bit random this room but um, it's got all different things coming from like the docks, some of the things that were sensor and used in the docks, sensor cross and used. Here's the big train. Um, the museum I know do not agree with this opinion. And I tend to favor the fact that she should not see anything because she's a historical object. It's one of the old bonds that used to drive around Liverpool. Never seen this in my life. So the evidence is still everywhere we see. Over the next 200 years, Liverpool's biggest influence. It's all the old uh, biscuits and stuff that used to be made in Tate and Lyle and Jacobs factories in Liverpool. Some of the old tins that they used to make. And this machine here used to make sweets. It's like something for lots of Willy Wonka's chocolate factories.